Yo what's up guys welcome back to another banger video few days ago i posted a community post to get some recommendations and i got a lot of recommendations like dnb color house and future base from my community post and as well as from my discord server so in this video i'm going to show you how you can make a sick drum and bass banger like arcando and inspiration is from his track sn and also just ignore the project name <coughs> this video is going to have some sick information so lock the in i'm going to start with the drop cuz i know why you guys are here the drums So the drums are most important element of drum and bass like it's the first word of the genre big brain time so sound selection is going to be on point we got to add a short and punchy kick and it's from my upcoming sample pack i hope i release it next year bro i'm so lazy <laughs> then the snare we should be smacking so first i add the short snare you can hear it's tight and smacking but it's too short for the vibe i was going for so i add another layer which has a nice tail and one cool thing is that the snare is in the key of the track So originally the snare is in D minor scale and my track is in C sharp minor scale. So I just pitched it down by one note and it sounds. So it's better to make your drums in key if you can. Like my ears are not that great to identify the key of drums, but if I can find a snare which has a key label, it's the same feeling like finding a gold scar. And if there is no key label, you can try pitching your snare by plus minus two notes. That's it. Otherwise it will sound weird. And for kicks, I never change the pitch. I just simply use another kick. Then I add more layers for texture. And as you can see we have four snares so we have to mix them together so on this texture layer i'm adding the cq to cut the low mids then on this one i'm just adding the cq to cut the low end and to boost the body of the snare then on the main snare i'm again adding this eq to cut the low end then on the last snare i'm adding the cq to remove the body all together it sounds clean then all the snares are linked to this final bus where i'm adding this eq which is doing nothing then i'm adding transient shaper to reduce the sustain and i'm also boosting the attack then at last a clipper for the kick i'm adding shaper box to make it short then a transient shaper to reduce the sustain and to boost some attack then at last a clipper to cut the peaks simple so that is for the kick and snare now it's time for the top loops so for top loops i recommend adding different rhythm and type of loops with some panning effects so all together they sound full this is the first layer So it's like 4 into 4 and it has a nice panning effect. Then this layer which is more fast. Then another layer. You can see they all have some panning effects to cover the stereo spectrum and different different rhythm and all together it sounds like this. Then in the second half I'm adding more top loops. And this one Then in the second part of the drop, I'm again adding more top loops. This one is from my Limitless Arcando Remix remake, so you can check that out too. So for the effects, first I'm adding Charge and Shaper to reduce the sustain, so all of them sound a bit tighter and glued. Then EQ to remove the bass frequencies, and I'm also adding a Stereo Enhancer to slightly make it a bit mono. Yes, mono. Because all of the loops have different stereo spectrum, so it sort of makes it glued together. I learned this trick from Arcando, so yeah. Then I'm adding two Shaper Box for side chain. The so first is side chain to kick, then another is side chain to the snare to create space for the transient of the kick and the snare. Then as you can see, we have a lot of drum fills, which is very important, but I'm I'm not going to show you this right now because I added these fills after having my bass line ready, and I also recommend you guys to add percussions and fills after having a bass line. Now the drop stabs sounds pretty dope. So these are the layers and a vocal for high end texture. Then for the effects, I'm adding a pull tech EQ, which you can get for free right now. Like again, UAD is giving away one of their plugins for free as well as sound toys, I guess, and which I got to know from a Discord server. So definitely join it. Then reverb for automation. Then again a clipper, and this time I'm not using Kickstart or Shaper Box. I'm just using KHS Compactor with these settings. Now the drop bass. Very simple and gritty. So these are the layers. Then the sub bass from a Serum 2 sound bank. Now for the effects on mid bass, I'm adding RC24 distortion, then some saturation, then decapitator for more distortion, then gull force, then again EQ to reduce the high end and to cut the sub bass frequencies. And on the sub bass, just this compressor and the CQ. Then the sub bass and the mid bass are linked to this final bus where I'm adding a clipper. Then it's going to the side chain bus and I'm using compactor for side chain. Now the drop leads. 
So as I told you, I was going for essence style a bit. So that's why I use some flourish synth shots from this video. These are the layers. I have this pluck layer from SCM2 Soundbank. Then this lead from SCC3. So for the processing, I'm processing the synth shots and serum separately. So for the synth shots, we did Alter Boy with minus one format, then some distortion, saturation, erosion, and again Saturn, again distortion, and again EQ to cut the low end. And then it's linked to the final lead bus where I'm adding EQ, decapitator for more distortion, more EQs, then Valhalla room for automation, again EQ, then Gulf Force, then Suit 2 to remove the unwanted frequencies, then again Suit 2, but this time it's on sidechain mode with the vocals, fruity filter, and J clip. That's it. And then it's linked to this bus where I'm adding clipper and this side saturation and then side chain. Then for the serum layers, I'm just adding this OTT, then decapitator and again OTT. And then it's linked to the final lead layers. That's for the processing. Very simple. So leads without effect sounds like this. And with effect, it sounds like this. Then I added some percussions for transient. And together it sounds like this. Then I render out the leads to save my CPU, then I added more transient elements. So all together it sounds like this. I'm also controlling the volume with this automation. So yeah, that's for the drop lead. Now drop fills. As you can see, we have some gaps in the drop melody and the bass line. So we add drop fills to fill that gap. You see what I did there? Fills and fill. <laughs> oh, brother. So fill sounds like this. So the drum fills with reference to the bass, it sounds like this. And I'm also adding some vocal ear candies. Then I'm also adding some vocal shots, like Arcando loves using this type of things. Now the B part, the fog horn. So first we have this sick fog horn. I made this patch and it's pretty dope to be honest. The magic comes from the LFO assigned to the phase distortion. There are a lot of distortion and compression. So first we have these two oscillators. On oscillator A, it's on default shapes and the wave table is set to 7. And this is minus 2 octave down and I'm using this LFO to control the level. And the sub bass is set to direct which means it's not getting affected by the serum effects. And the sub bass is also minus 2 octave down and it sounds like this. And I'm also adding some noise with the same LFO controlling the level. Then I saw wave on oscillator B and I'm controlling the level with this LFO. And then on oscillator A, I'm using phase distortion from B. So it sounds like this. Then I'm adding this phase filter and also automating the cutoff. Now, it's all about distortion and compression. So first I'm adding distortion, diode 1 and I'm automating the drive. Then another phase filter and this time I'm automating the cutoff as well as the mix knob. So it sounds like this. Then a splitter to add distortion on lows and to make the highs a bit wide. So it sounds like this. So on the lows I'm adding this tube distortion and on the highs just hyperdimension and chorus. Then I'm adding compressor using the OTT preset and the CQ. Then for post processing I'm adding pull tech EQ to boost the low end. Then EQ to shape it. Then Valhalla room for automation. Then a J clip. So it sounds like this. Dope. And then it's going to the clipper and side chain. And then also we have this bass. And for the effects, again pull the EQ to boost the low end. Then G clip and the fruity balance for automation. And then I'm also adding this chord for texture. Sounds like this. So for the effects, I'm adding this EQ to cut the low end. Then corrosion, adding square noise. Then the shaper box for stutter effect. And I'm also adding these bass shots for more texture. Then in the C part, the transition portion, I just added these chords and the bass. Same chord from the B part, then this granular chord from SSC4 and this bass. All together it sounds like this. Dope. Then for the second part of the drop, I just added few variations, like some few changes in the drop melody. And for the foghorn, it's playing E and then it's set to plus 7 semitone. So it sounds like this. Then I added some more vocal effects. Sounds pretty cool. And yeah, that's for the draw. Now, the intro first and the build. So, the intro sounds like this.
Just listen, it sounds pretty dope. Now the verse. This is crazy. Bro, I love strings. This intro start with this cool serum patch. And then this floor chord sounds like this. And then this R, it's also from silent. And I'm also automating the cutoff of the ARP and the chord, so it sounds like this. Pretty cool. Now, the rest is just atmospheric sounds. Just listen to this. Sounds pretty cool. Let me show you one by one. So this is the first layer. Then this. Then we have some crackle effects. And this vocal chop, which is actually from Essence Stem. But I chopped it up to make a different melody. And it sounds pretty dope. And I'm also automating the volume with this automation. For the effects, first I'm adding Digital Alto Boy, then Fruity Delay, Valhalla Room, and the CQ. And then we have these monophonic sounds from Atmos for example pack volume 2. So for the effects, on this one I'm adding Space Blender, which is similar to Fruity Convolver. Then I'm adding Shaper Box with Cyber Crunch preset, so it has a nice texture and movement. Then more layers. Then some drones. On this one I'm adding Shaper Box with Stellar Effect and Panning. Some more drones. And then we transition to the verse with some transition elements like impacts, effects, and downlifters. So the chord progression and the arps are same, but I add these insane strings. Sounds pretty dope. And bro, Splice is killing it with this Splice instrument update. I really love it. So for the layers, there's just a simple piano from Splice. And then bunch of strings. And these two cellos and strings. And also this violin which is playing extra melodies. And if we combine these two, it sounds pretty cool. Then this sick bass line is gluing all of them together. Then again the magic comes from distortion and bunch of compressor. If I remove the effects, it sounds like this. And for the processing, just EQ to reduce the high end, then suit 2 which is side change to the impacts, then a clipper to cut the peaks. So all together, it sounds like this. Super dope. And now we transition to the pre build. First of all, the most prominent thing is that we have a lot of stutter effects. On the chords, I'm adding shaper box to create this stutter effect. Also on the bass, but with like 37% mix. And then this massive preset, I mean massive layer preset. And then the school layer. So basically, it's just a one shot, string one shot. And this one. So without any effects, it sounds like this. For the effects, first I'm adding this EQ for automation, then serum effects with diffuser, and I'm also adding some hyperdimension on the highs with some 53% mix, then the shaper box and at last a clipper. Then in the pre-build, I'm also introducing the main melody. 
Then I'm also adding a bunch of synth shots. Sounds like this. This one is a tonal shot from Atmos Pack. And then this synth shot. And this one. And together it sounds like this. And then we transition to the build up. In the build up, you have to add some nice build up drums with some downlifters and risers to create tension. Then this drop fill which sounds like this. And I'm using the same snare from the drop but without the main drop snare. And then don't forget about the build up automation. First, I'm adding this volume automation to reduce all the Atmos sounds before the drop. Then a high pass automation to cut the low end before the drop. Then a stereo separation automation to make the build up a bit mono right before the drop. Then a volume automation on the pre master to reduce the volume right before the drop. So when the drop hits, it sounds more powerful and loud. So yeah, that is for the track. Now let's check out the final result. I'm sure of the feeling. Wide awake, still sleeping. Consciousness is fleeting. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did drop a like and subscribe it helps the channel and you can even share it with your producer friends and also it's holiday season let me know what you guys are doing like chilling with family and friends or logged in making music and if you want to support my channel you can check out my serum 2 sound bank and atmospheric sample pack volume 2 at anasamirmusic.com it's the best way to support the channel so i can keep making these videos and i will meet you in the next one have a great weekend bye bye